The DeLorean is undoubtedly one of cinema's most famous cars. The inclusion of a time-travelling variant in the Back to the Future series has saved this car from obscurity, helping it to gain a significant cult following which has lasted far beyond the 1980s. With our Back to the Future Part 2 DeLorean releasing this year, we ask, did you know? They really are a rare breed, with only 9,000 of these things originally being produced in the two-year period, from 1981 to 1982. Six of these were used in the production of the Back to the Future film series. There's an estimated 6,000 of the original DeLoreans still remaining. The DeLorean was actually a pretty slow car and had a reputation for a less than satisfying driving experience. The speedometer on a DeLorean only goes up to 85 miles per hour. That's just short of the 88 needed for time travel. Behind the scenes of Back to the Future, a custom speedometer was made. This gave it the appearance of being able to reach 95 miles per hour as opposed to the original 85. Our Scalextric DeLorean variants took eight weeks to develop, with the team getting a chance to get up close to a real-life DeLorean when it visited our Margate HQ. The DMC DeLorean features stainless steel body panels, a unique and rare design choice. Some DeLorean owners have even painted their cars. But come on, you can't beat that sleek, stainless steel look. It's hard to imagine the time machine in Back to the Future being anything but a DeLorean. However, in early drafts of the Back to the Future script, Doc Brown builds a time machine out of a fridge? In these early drafts, Doc and Marty travel to a nuclear test site and get this, they use a nuclear blast to power the fridge time machine. Steven Spielberg, worried that children might see Marty climb into the fridge and try and replicate the scene at home for themselves. And so, the fridge idea was scrapped. Thankfully, a more mobile option was eventually decided on with the DeLorean. With its spaceship-like design and unique gullwing doors, it was the perfect choice for a time-travelling car. The cars were originally built with a stock DeLorean V6 engine. However, in the Back to the Future film series, sounds from a V8 Porsche 928 were used instead to give the car a bit more room, resulting in a far sportier image. Now, in the words of Doc Brown himself, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Now you too can add this iconic 80s car to your scale extra lineup. Thanks for watching. Did you learn anything new about the DeLorean? Comment down below. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.